Matisse is, a, is an operator, uh, works for the agency. He's one of these guys that they call when there are uh, hot, but, hot button issues going on in uh, different places in the globe. They send him. Uh, if there's somebody that needs to be detained, he's the guy who makes it happen. Uh, boots on the ground, that's Matisse. When you come to the premiere, it's sort of the celebration of all the stuff you've done to make a show like this, all the people that are involved. I mean, I think that very, very often people don't realize how much is involved in doing this. And it looks like I'm on the poster, but I should be the last person on the poster because there's so many incredible people that did this. But to do it in particular here at uh, a USO event, for me, I have to be honest and say it's one of the reasons why I took the role. One of the reasons why I took the role is to continue my relationship with the military community and to be here with these people. The big irony is they kept saying thank you to me, and the truth is I had to say thank you to them, not only for their service, but by having me here today. The cool thing about it, uh, this version for us, or for me at least as an actor, is it takes a lot of pressure off that you get to do eight hours of content rather than two hours, right? So that was one of the big pitches to me was what if the movies weren't the best place for Jack Ryan because it's hard to fit all that story into two hours and over eight hours we really get to learn these characters, or get to know these characters intimately, we really get to spend time with them so you see all of Jack's trepidations, all of him not wanting to be here whatsoever. I think one of my favorite things is in the first three episodes he says he doesn't want to go out in the field ever um, and he's dragged out there so it's, it's really this, it's, it's nice to spend more time with this character. I learned so, uh, so beautifully on 13 hours that it's all about the people so for me, one of the greatest moments of my life, not just career, was getting to meet um, all the operators that helped us out on 13 hours and uh, really helped us make sure that we told the story in a real way. And so I just went back to the well and did that again. And the coolest thing ever for me, I mean, I totally nerded out when we got to the CIA. I, I think I probably embarrassed myself and I'm sure they have it on tape. So um, uh, no, it was, it was unbelievable to me. I thought it would be the most uneventful research time of my life because I thought the answer to everything would be, we can't we can't discuss anything. And instead, they were the most unbelievably generous, kind, smart people. And more than just learning about their life in the field, I got to hear about you know, how it weighs upon a marriage, how it weighs upon families, how do you, how do you keep going as a, as a person, not only an, uh, 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 an officer. So I, I owe them everything, I really do. The CIA is something that we should all not only cherish, but be saying thank you every single day. I'll say it in front of him because I've said it in front of him before. He is, uh, without a doubt, one of the best actors I've ever worked with. He's also one of the actors I've had on my list to work with forever. Um, to say I was a big fan of The Wire is the biggest understatement of the century. I think that what they did on that show, what they were able to investigate with such dignity, with such integrity, and with such specificity was so phenomenal and mind-blowing. And I think the, the show owes a lot of it to him and the rest of the cast and all the other crew. But to me, as soon as uh, I... It, took on the role, he was the first person I wanted for this role. <laughs> Perfect timing. I heard all of that. That's oh, you a did? good, good segue. Good, good. Well, How did I do? Is that what you want me to say? Yes. Okay, yes, good, good, good. good. Yeah. My name is Mina Masood and I play Terry Kassar and uh, he works closely with Jack back at CIA headquarters and uh, basically me and uh, a crew and Jack kind of do legwork for Jack so he can go out and then kind of kick ass. Jack Ryan is about um, the struggle of humanity on both sides that we might not necessarily understand or relate to. So I think a lot of people are obviously going to understand and relate to Jack Ryan's side of things, but there is a whole other side in this show that you have to tune in and watch and go through that journey of both sides kind of understanding each other and coming to terms with what it means to be human in their own eyes. This is a big thing. 140 countries in one day, in one hour, got this show. This is a true world premiere. It's an international television show, so I'm proud to be a part of it. James Greer is a uh, professional, lifelong um, CIA officer uh, who, uh, whose love of country and service um, has been on display for decades. Uh, but we find him at the opening of this, where his uh, he has lost his family, his family's falling apart, and he has been demoted because of something he's done out in the field. So he's wondering if his best days are behind him, and then he discovers this young man who rejuvenates him, and that young man being uh, Jack Ryan. What we're doing with an origin story is you get to see, uh, you get to see the characters um, develop more. We get to go further into their lives, into their personal lives, and to see how they met, and then also what, what leads to 
each step in their progression as, um, as colleagues, as friends, and then also as offices, and uh, the best offices that they can be. So with uh, a long form like this in television, you can go a lot further than just a two-hour movie. Uh, it becomes a visual novel where you can uh, go on different subplots and go deeper into their, uh, to how they think. I'm very nostalgic because a year ago, we were shooting in Morocco right now. We were finishing in Paris, in fact. And so it's been a beautiful long wait. And, uh, and I think the trailers and everything, all these uh, signs I've seen everywhere, all around the world, because I travel and I see them, it's really cool. I, I've never seen a campaign like this. We wanted to uh, honor his books more than more than the four movies or the five movies that have come before. We wanted to kind of expand the universe a little bit, and so in addition to following Jack, we'd have a kind of a mosaic of all these other characters that we'd be following as well. You know, I think a lot of people say that they're making movies for television, but I think this really is the case of that. We had the money and the resources to make something really big and special. We shot on three continents, six different cities all over the world for six months, and it's a really an epic adventure. It's like an eight-hour feature film. My character is Hanin Suleiman. She is a wife, a mother of three. She's really brave, um, has to make unimaginable decisions, and she does whatever she can to protect her kids. I really took risks with the role. I really put myself out there. Um, I did things that scared me. I felt so connected to the people I worked with. I fell in love with those kids. When I had to say goodbye to them, it broke my heart. Um, I loved Ali Sleiman, who played my husband, and that was really important to us, to really show a love between them and to show intimacy between them, because you never get that time with Arab and Muslim characters on screen. And being from that part of the world, I felt responsible to not just put someone that felt like an other, but to put someone on screen and to put her in circumstances and do things that made you just feel like she was a woman and make you forget where she came from and what language she spoke and what her religion was and what her circumstances were. And um, it was, you know, a very challenging but ultimately rewarding experience. I feel very proud of what we did. and. I really hope people connect to her as much as I did because I loved playing her so much it broke my heart when I had to say goodbye. <laughs> There's so many things that I could tell you I'm excited about, but the most I'm excited about is really how special this show is like to me. It's really a breath of fresh air, this show, and it really challenges people globally to think differently. I'm excited because, you know, this is my first opportunity in TV uh, show and uh, I feel like I, I got the opportunity to really show uh, myself, to challenge myself that I can do it in the future. It's a thriller, it's a drama, it's a love story, it's many things, many things is in it because that's why, that's why I love Jack Ryan and, and I, I, I felt like when I read it for the first time we can touch every everything like really you can touch um, many layers many in, in our life I was at the script and the first thing that struck me is that it feels so timely and also I loved how nuanced and so I mean it, it's a complicated conflict uh, terrorism, Middle East, uh, and it actually brought, it humanized it in such a great way. I think that John is such a great Jack Ryan. It's been such a pleasure working with him. He is a phenomenal actor, very smart, very committed, and uh, I felt we were doing a very new and unique version of Jack Ryan.